Hey everybody, welcome to the Hot and Hotter podcast. I'm Artie. And I'm Dan. Every episode, I give Dan a recipe and we find out if it's... A success. Or a disaster. Nevertheless, it's bound to be an adventure. Let's get to cooking. saw you waiting for it you're like Chet, actually i was just more concerned about you dude like struggle bus uh occupancy arty <laughs> i i am i am i am the captain of the struggle <laughs> uh what's going on bud <laughs> so much so much so much so much uh uh-huh. i started a new job yeah. so i've been very busy first week was last week bunch everyone who everyone is fantastic there super cool like bunch so of nice people you're digging it yeah i'm digging it quite a bit um Good. everyone's everyone's super cool very nice um i'm going to training next week to get sort of certified because i have to get certified um part of the job and uh yeah so i'm gonna be busy for a couple of weeks but that's okay we make we make it we get in where we fit in you know what i'm saying there you go you what about you? What about you? You you've you've been on an adventure. Well, I just uh, we did a little family vacation. We're uh, a little. At the, well, at the time at the time of this recording, it's the end of the summer, and usually we have a family reunion up in Michigan that lines up with the end of the summer, and and we try to make a circuit. We hit we hit the in laws, then we go up north and hit mine, and and then we come back. So we we were gone for about 10, 10 11 days. So a full run up to Atlanta. Wife and I disappeared up to Asheville, North Carolina for a couple of days to celebrate our anniversary. And then we all went up to Michigan for the reunion and then all the way back to Texas. So it was, it was a haul, but it was, it was good. Um, and it's definitely mm-hmm. that, that moment that it just clicks like, all right, I'm ready for school to start. Get this yeah. kid out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm done with him. Yep. Well, congratulations on your anniversary. Thank you. 11 years. 11 years. Nice. Good job. Well, so far she won't. I, I look. We got a kid together. She can't get rid of me that easily. He locked it in. He locked it in. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, I'm 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 glad that we decided to put a couple extra episodes in the in the in the tank because yeah. there's no way with our yeah. travel schedules that we would have been able to keep up with our no. quota. No. So no. that that definitely gave us some breathing room. And I also, I, uh, I wanted to, to give a little teaser. I had an idea a while back. I mentioned it in some other episodes about doing like a familial recipe. Mm-hmm. And when I was up in the, the, the reunion with my, my dad's side, um, we, I actually got him and his three sisters together and we did a little, uh, we did like a, like grandma's recipe for potato pancakes. Oh, nice. And so, uh, it's a, it's a quick little dish while well, it's supposed to be. And, um, and so I kind of recorded everybody and I, I'm going to try to piece that together and it, it may be a one-off to where you and I will talk about it and then we'll show the footage. But anyway, yeah. I just, I just, that, that was, that was something I want to work towards and I'll, I got to figure out editing cause it's way different than how we do this format. <laughs> <clears throat> it is, it is. So, but anyway, it, it was fun and hopefully we'll get some good stuff out of it. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Thanks. I believe so, in you um let's see what did we do we did banana wafer pudding we did banana and, wafer pudding anybody from, I, the, from the south which you are in the south should know what I, this is um nana wafer pudding <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> nana pudding is that what you call it a banana wafer pudding I don't, yeah i guess so <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you build that up and like i'm supposed to say something southern it could, no it's a southern dish it's like a huge southern oh. dish I got you. Well, we didn't do the history yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I've only known this to be at everything down here, but I mean, you can have this anywhere. This is, is this really a Southern Southern dish? Yeah. Yeah. It's a big Southern thing. Really? Yeah. I, I never really pieced that together. I, I just figured it was just a, like a very common, um, family home style dessert. No, apparently. Yeah. It's, it's a Southern thing. Really? Okay. Well, yeah. keep keep going this uh, this history train. Tell us a little bit more about banana wafer pudding. Well, if you ask, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't so, twist your arm. 
um so yeah it's it's a it's a southern it's a southern dish um it actually was which this is gonna be kind of confusing so it was first mentioned in um the new york times in 1878 in a column called information wanted uh it was written by robert moss and it, it was uh in an article for serious eats like a classified a, ad no i think serious eats was um it's a it's a like an and like an article or like a recipe like thing that would always you know like a periodical thing that always come out okay so it was like a it's like a weekly thing but information <laughs> yeah. wanted that leads it to believe like i guess so. I, I didn't read the actual article i mean okay 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 but yeah so that's what, that's what it says and um interesting so that's when it was first mentioned. Um, the first actual recipe is from uh, Good How Ho- Good Housekeeping in 1888. Wow, that's yeah, it's a, it's a I feel like yeah. that's old for this dish. Yeah, it's an old re- it's an old recipe. That's crazy because I mean, like yeah. we talked about chocolate chip cookies, and they didn't come around to like 1910, mm-hmm. 1912, mm-hmm. or something. That's yeah, it's crazy. Okay, but then sorry. you got you got to think like that. That is like it's. At that time, it's a custard. So they're using a custard. So, which is the difference between a custard and a pudding is um thickener. So a custard, just eggs. But to make something a pudding, you use a thickener, and that thickener is usually um brain has stopped working. Was it cornstarch? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I only took a guess because that was the that was kind of the oddity ingredient yeah, yeah, out yeah, of all yeah. this. Okay. Yeah. So that that's a thickener. That's like okay. that in water or milk or whatever you put that in things. It thickens any sauce. A little tip for everybody out there. Interesting. Yeah. Um, if you don't want to use a roux, that's that's your other option. Okay. So the now how it gets from there to being a southern dish is kind of weird. So the story of banana pudding um, kind of tracks closely to the south because there was a similar dish. Or is a slumber dish called ambrosia, which apparently that's a big southern dish. It's a, it's 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 custard and fruit and um, yeah, that's okay. That's, so before this, apparently it wasn't. It was only only a um, like you would only see this in like a very fancy restaurant. It was it was for the rich. Because the ambrosia or just pudding in general? Just any like custard with fruit because it okay. was so expensive. The fruit was so expensive. Gotcha, gotcha. So around uh, the second half of the 19th century is when it started to become like kind of common because fruit was getting cheaper. So, you know, everyone could get it and make it. Sure, so, shipping, shipping channels were able to train. Yeah, I got it, got it. Exactly. So um, all that led to it being a big southern dish apparently that's crazy oh yeah it's it's super old took a minute then got affordable to make and grew in popularity i think i think that's interesting to picture banana pudding as being like an elitist dessert right right i just (laughs) and then it's just kind of like trickled down and then the commoners got a hold of it and they ran with it okay I mean that, that makes sense. I mean, if you if you break down, like the access to certain foods, yeah, and, exactly. and and you know like preservatives and how you, how long you can you know yeah. keep it fresh and travel with it. That that yeah. makes a lot of sense. But in the end, living in today, you know, our society going, yeah, just, yeah, just banana. You go to the grocery store, you yeah, buy you, stuff you got it in a box. So uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I just envision like someone named Winnie going with their little bell, ding ding ding, bring me my pudding. <laughs> Bring me my ambrosia. <laughs> Just pull on the string. All right. I need Butler, my midnight pudding. <laughs> Butler brings it out. She's like a giant monster of a person. <laughs> Bring me my pudding. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, petting her cat. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um. So hey, dude, yeah, dude, was the... G-rated. Come on, bud. <laughs> wow. All right. Moving on. Is there any more history? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's the history just for the record i never was going there but all right let's turn this the other way um <laughs> okay well then i'll kind of i'll kind of go through it and i and again as always with with you already I have a couple points of contention um yeah, sure 
Let's go. One of them. One of them. I already, being... I already, I already know what one of them is. <laughs> Your response on Discord was hilarious when I sent you that. No, that's not supposed to be in it at all. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm sitting with this massive. Never mind. Whatever. <laughs> so, um, so this one, when you presented it to me as banana pudding, uh -huh. you wanted to break it down. I, I need to preface this for the audience. You wanted to make everything basically from scratch. Yes. You want, except for the bananas. My kid was like, did you make these bananas? Yes, son. You said, I, yes. <laughs> from I the power the <laughs> of molecules and shit. <laughs> I give the banana. <laughs> but banana. The, um, the end of the day, you wanted this to be basically everything from scratch. Yep. Anywhere down. And, you know, I didn't go out and buy the Nilla wafers. We didn't go out and get the Insta pudding packet in the jello aisle we didn't do any of that everything yeah. is from the ground up um homemade and so <clears throat> that means this dish is technically in three different parts because um i guess the southern variety of banana pudding basically is your pudding <coughs> bananas mm -hmm. obviously yep. but yep. pudding um wafers yeah. wafer cookies and whipped cream Mm -hmm. Yeah, and whipped cream can sometimes be optional. I've just seen it with wafers and the pudding. Yeah, um, but the, the I, I can see how like if you want to take it to the next level, then you you throw the whipped cream on there. Yeah, you you got you got to put some pizzazz on that thing. Sure, you, you made it a layer. You made it a layer. Exactly. So, um, going through the ingredients list, I'm going to break it down by the individual items. So we're going to start with the sugar cookie, the vanilla sugar cookie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. I got in a debate with my wife and I was confused on this because okay. the first item is is all purpose flour, but you list it in seven ounces. Yes. Um, and so I was I was debating with her, is that volumetric? Is that weight? And we were going back and forth, and she said that typically what she researched is it is weight. Yes. It is not volumetric. And can yes. you explain a little bit more why? Some items on the ingredients list are volumetric and some of them are pure weight. Um, I can't because this <laughs> this is a rest this is uh Alton Brown's recipe. Oh. So th this is like his recipe. Why he it's it's the reason it's volume or not volumetric, the reason it's by weight is that it's we're baking. This is I'm mm -hmm. sure this is why he did it. Um, and it's more accurate to do weight. I'm not sure why he didn't do grams instead, which would sure. be even more accurate. But no, it, it's his recipe, and he is, he is the goat. So mm -hmm. I I trust what he puts puts on paper. So if he says ounces, I'm putting ounces down. Whatever, whatever okay. that man says to do, I do. That makes sense. Um, so that that also makes more sense because if he did put grams, it wouldn't be up for debate. It would have you just would have known it was weight. Exactly. Um, okay, so that makes sense. Now, my other question to that is, if it is weight, which this is, do you measure it before or after sifting? Because sifting is supposed to make it more of a finer powder, so technically, logically, you could pack more in there mm -hmm. if, uh, if, you're, if you're knocking down the space. Before you wait? Okay. Yeah, before. Interesting. I don't think it would make that big of a difference, but on larger scales, uh, I don't know. If, if okay. we were doing like hundreds of pounds of this and we're doing yeah. like mass production yeah that'd be different but no since okay. we're making like a batch of it it's not okay cool then that that was it so that was just so then we go on to the aluminum free baking powder you made a point yes. to, to, to say aluminum free is mm -hmm. that just more chemistry stuff again it's alton brown <laughs> you just copy and paste got it for this one i yeah i mean i i trust that that human with cooking okay um yeah. I always like his sciencey stuff too. He, yeah, he, he yeah, speaks, yeah. Exactly. He speaks to me on that level. Okay, so then we move on to some uh, salt, a little bit of salt, uh, four ounces of butter, which is basically uh, like half a stick, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Depend depending on the butter you get, but yeah, yeah. Uh, again, room temperature. We've talked mm -hmm. about why that. And then I'm gonna skip past this one and come back to it. A large egg, some vanilla extract, and whole milk. Um, the whole milk, I'm assuming, for the fattiness. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then vanilla sugar. This was something that I found interesting, and I did a little bit of research on this, mm -hmm. so I might have a little bit of history because I was confused as to what you meant by this. Okay. Yeah. Um, apparently, in America, 
um, vanilla sugar isn't as common as it is more over in like Europe and Asia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and where it's just basically vanilla bean infused mm -hmm. into powdered sugar. Yes. Okay. And I did some research on YouTube videos on how to, because I looked for it. I could not find it anywhere. There was no vanilla. And everybody's like, just put vanilla extract. Well, there's already vanilla extract. So yeah. if this vanilla sugar is supposed to be an added step, and you know me, I like to follow the rules. Yeah. And so yeah. Um, vanilla sugar, number one, uh, the research I found was you just take a vanilla bean and you kind of mm -hmm. cut it halfway. You scrape out the black yeah. beans and then you mix it in. And some people even cut up the pods and throw those in there as well. Yeah. And basically it's supposed to infuse it. Where do you get vanilla sugar if you did use it? And does it make a big difference? Um, I made it. Really? Yeah, I just made it. Um, I just two two pods, cut them in half, scrape the innards out, like you said, put it in there with put it in with um, sugar, blitz it in the food processor. There it is, vanilla sugar. Did you put the pods in as well? No, I saved the pods because I put them in with the milk, so I let them steep with the milk to get more vanilla flavor. Ooh, yeah, that's that's uh, okay, okay. So, so um, it was all used. Where did you get the vanilla bite, the vanilla bean pods? Uh, they had it at Costco here. Really? Yeah, they just had um, it's a, t a glass tube that comes with like six of them. We just had a Costco open up. I should have. We should have looked while we were there. Um, well, I couldn't find them anywhere. I couldn't find bean pods or yeah, the it, vanilla it's, beans. It's not easy. It's not easy to find them. Usually, you have to order them online. And and if you can do the vanilla sugar, it's whatever. It's fine. Yeah, I just I limped on without with just yeah. regular sugar. Yeah, it's uh, fine. Last question because I don't want to spend too much time on this. How expensive are vanilla beans? Um, for I think it's six or seven of them. Um, I think it was nineteen dollars. See, I figured they'd be pretty steep because they're coming from like Madagascar. Yeah, or they're something. not there. It's not a cheap ingredient. And um, if you use it correctly, then it's great. It adds adds flavor and it also um it adds the aesthetic to certain foods too. You get that those uh that black granules in stuff. Yeah. That's because of vanilla bean. Oh, okay. Does That's it not break is. down? Uh no, no. It's just little black granules and it imparts more vanilla flavor. Okay. So, well, yeah. those were the sugar cookies, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of uh, say right now that I feel out of the entire dish, this was the best part. I think mm -hmm. out of this entire recipe, I had the best success and the best best flavors from the okay. vanilla cookies. These are really cool. good. Cool. I really like these. Nice. Uh, and these are these are dangerously bite sized and easy to pop. Oh yeah. yeah. So. Um, oh yeah. The the recipe that you gave here for these ingredients I listed made about you said about. 35 cookies or something. Uh -huh. I only came up with about 28, 29. I might have That's been a, a little liberal with my, with my That's glob. Fine. That's with fine. My globs. I, um, I, uh, cause the way I, the way I made mine, I only made like 20 of them or something like that. 24. Really? Well, cause I did like that classic sugar cookie. Like you roll it up in a tube, mm -hmm. put it in the freezer till it gets solid, uh -huh. take off the saran wrap and I can you cut it in medallions. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I see, I see what you're doing. Kind of like yeah. how you do like cinnamon rolls and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So I did it like that. If I would have did okay. the scoop, um, I would have got probably the same amount. I just don't want to go buy another scoop because I already have like three of them. And I don't want to buy the, like a super tiny one on top of the other ones I have. I went and looked for one. I only had a, I had a tablespoon size one and I just kind of halfway filled that, went with it. Yeah, that works. Okay. So moving on to the pudding. Mm -hmm. Um, we got three cups of whole milk. Again, I'm assuming for the fattiness. Yeah, yeah I see the yeah. smile. You know what's coming. You know what's coming, Artie. <laughs> I, do. I do. You got three tablespoons of cornstarch. You got a quarter cup of sugar, three egg yolks, and a tablespoon of butter, mm -hmm. a teaspoon mm -hmm. of vanilla extract, mm -hmm. uh, some more salt, half, and then <laughs> half a cup of baking soda. Yeah, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me see. Is that on there? It's, it's I don't see that on there. Not a, I don't see that on there. Two quarts of water. I don't I don't see either of these things on there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what you're looking at. So probably <laughs> right about now in the video version of this podcast, there's me showing the ingredients <laughs> for the pudding, and there's a massive vat of water <laughs> in a little ingredients dish with baking soda. Oh, I've been busy. I made a mistake. <laughs> What oh. I feel has happened is you you copied and pasted into the middle of the pretzel, and I think it was the the 
the uh, the backup lie solution we used for the pretzels. I may have. I may have done yeah. that. I may okay. have done that. All right. I super uh, sleuth this out. Uh, you do not need two quarts of water, which is like how many quarts are in a gallon? Like I'm going to know that. <laughs> well, it was literally a gallon of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little um, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that. So, uh, um man, the pudding. I, sh- I should have been like, yeah, totally use it. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been the worst. <laughs> Why does this pudding taste like grainy water? <laughs> this is Why disgusting. Is, it so- <laughs> is this pudding soup pudding? What is it? <laughs> oh uh, man. I'm glad you uh, like that. Uh, because i mean i'm literally looking at that step going there's no water it says no water anywhere <laughs> to add and i got uh, a little concerned because there's there's actually no banana in the pudding yeah mm-hmm. there's no but like there's no banana like if you didn't put <clears throat> chunks of banana in it it would yeah. just be vanilla pudding yeah that's all it is it's vanilla pudding yeah I, yeah that's that's my, that's what it's, my that's feeble what brain didn't think i thought it was banana pudding so i'm like well, how do they get the banana flavor in there <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought about I thought about having us get banana extract and put it in there. Okay, but I didn't want to mess with extract because we already put vanilla extract in there. And whenever you mess with fruit fruit extracts or anything that's like really flavorful in general, you can yeah. screw it up super easy. Like it's too strong or something. Yeah, yeah. Like if you use more than a drop in this would have been unedible yeah Yeah, it's it's super like extracts are very very strong and i didn't want to mess with it and also it i looked at all the recipes that were putting together banana pudding and not they just used vanilla pudding okay because when you put the bananas in and it sits that flavor kind of parts anyways so okay now that makes sense and and looking back i should have figured out that it didn't need two quarts of water (laughs) Anyway, okay, so uh, yeah, and then we got the whipped cream. Um, basically, you're making Cool Whip here, um, from from what I could tell. But you, we made a lot. Uh, of it. No, you're making whipped cream, sir. Okay, I'm sorry, but you're it's, not making it's... Cool Whip. Okay, uh, thirty two ounces of heavy whipping cream. Wait, uh, how do you how do you say it? I'm I'm not gonna get into this. I'm not gonna get into this. whip. <laughs> 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 Sorry, family some vanilla guy. extract and some sugar. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this quick because this is gonna be a really long episode if I break down every minute detail about each one. The cookies were actually really good. I really like these. Um, pretty simple baking thing. Uh, ultimately, you just prepare the ingredients. Um, you, you said sift the flour, baking powder, and salt together. Yep. That that is as as we have done more baking things. Sifting has been pretty much ingrained to be a requirement when you're dealing with flour. Yes. Um, yeah. Whenever you're my baking. wife. Yeah. When you're baking, my wife actually told a story earlier about how she was doing her grandmother's banana bread mm-hmm. and her grandmother got onto her because she didn't sift her flour. And she's like, what? Chill. Like <laughs> apparently it's a big I mean, deal. It's, it's supposed to be a big deal, but I don't know why the whole point is to get like, to break it apart a bit and yeah. like make it lighter. But in the end, it's all supposed to. I'm just going on tangent right now. It's all supposed to become a dough, anyways, sure. and it kind of combines. So I don't. I'm gonna. I want to. I'm gonna actually do real research because I want to know why sifting is so ubiquitous with baking. I want to know. Heard it here, folks. All his other research has not been real. It's just all been a facade. I just That's make what... this shit up as I go. <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah. So sifting is pretty ubiquitous with now baking and I'm, I'm kind of putting that together and a lot of the dry ingredients you usually sift together is what yeah. I'm picking up on. Yep. Um, and so we use the stand mixer, cream, the butter, vanilla, sugar, all that, or mix it all together. And then we're adding eggs. And I noticed we're just slowly incorporating different ingredients to kind of, I guess, maintain a consistency as we go yeah. through this. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Um, it's it, cause it's very specific about when and how much to add and, mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. And then, then you, you know, you just, little teaspoon size uh, uh, globs of the dough once it's all mixed in nice. And you put that on a baking sheet for about 15 to 20 minutes. Basically, just watch it for coloration. Yep. Um, and then um, you bring it out. And you specifically say don't take it off the pans until it's officially cool. Is there a reason yeah. for that? 
Well, <clears throat> so they're, they're, they're so small mm -hmm. um, that you want them to fully harden before okay. you start removing them off because you don't want to like take them off and it breaks apart. Yeah. Okay. Because, that makes you know, sense. Because cookies are soft when they first come out, unless you unless you like overcook them too much, then they're little hard pucks. But but cookies should be soft to a degree when they come out the oven. So okay. you want no. you just want to get hard and cool off. That's it. Okay, makes sense. Makes perfect sense. And you want them to be that that crispiness like a vanilla wafer. And exactly. you're looking for the exact coloration of vanilla wafer. So if you're if you're not sure of the color, um, the brown may the bottom may get a little bit more brown just because it's on the pan. I yeah. assume, yeah. but that goldenness of the top and yeah. It's 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 kind of a no brainer, and they're really good. To be honest, they're just really good bite sized things. Yeah, yeah, they're delicious. Uh, um, so then we get into the pudding. Mm -hmm. Now, I've never made a pudding before. This is the first pudding. My pudding experience comes from like the Jello pre made. Yeah. Dry packs that you can yeah. get on the baking aisle. Yeah. Um, and that I feel like everybody knows that consistency, yes. that mm -hmm. that flavor. Um, this turned out a little bit more of a tapioca style pudding for me and I don't know if that's just because of how like it I wasn't full on tapioca but it had that texture a little bit more of a texture as opposed to more of a goop if that makes any more sense and that so may be how I was prepared it, it was it more fluid or thick it was more thick okay yeah I mean that's fine okay um because when I think about it I think of more of like the more liquidy like when you when when you ladle it you still mm -hmm. get like a like a smoother glob instead of just a like a almost a gelatinous chunk, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, uh, yeah and that's that. that, that's why I kind of that's why I kind of associate tapioca because it had more texture, whereas mm -hmm. the more smoother pudding is what I'm used to seeing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so I put it in. Uh, so you do whisk whisk some milk with the cornstarch. You set that aside. You heat up a pan. You 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 warm up. You whisk the remaining milk, salt, and sugar. Allow that to heat until it's steaming, and you said don't let yes. it boil. Yes. Um, do you not want to lose it? Is that why you don't want it to boil? No. So whenever you whenever it boils, it um, it changes the protein structure of milk. So okay. um, I forget what it's called. Um, scorching. I think it's called scorching milk. For some things, you do want that to happen, but for okay. this, you don't want that to happen because it can mess. It, it will mess up the milk, and also. When you come to the next step, you don't want boiling hot milk because you don't want scrambled eggs. Okay. Okay. So and and like you said, we had the we had the eggs, the egg yolks. Uh, you mix while the milk heats, whisk egg yolks in a separate bowl. Once milk is steaming, slowly add. And I thought this was interesting. You took milk out of the steaming pot, added it to the eggs. Yep. And then you took the eggs and added it back to the main yes. pot. Is that it's almost like you're trying to get the eggs ready or like kind of warm them up or something. Exactly. That's exactly what you're doing. Well then done, why dude. why don't you just throw it in? Well, because it's called tempering. So if you just throw them in, it's going to cook the eggs because oh. it's too hot. So you slowly introduce the hotter ingredient to the cooler ingredient while constantly whisking. And you're, it's called tempering. So all you're doing, you're taking those eggs and bringing them up, bringing them up to a temperature slowly so you don't cook them. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. And I kind of yeah. like loosely figured that out as to why you would, you would restrict how much access it has to the heat. Yes. Yeah. Prior. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. So you're not trying to shock the eggs into being cooked. Correct. <clears throat> okay. And you said, what was that called? Tempering? Tempering. Tempering. It yeah. sounds like a blacksmith kind of thing. I mean, yeah, you're, te yeah, you're tempering. The temperature is, you know, tempering. Okay, 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 I get it. Yes, thank you. I'm See, when you, when you take the thing that's hotter <laughs> than not. I had two quarts of water, Artie. <laughs> hey, dude, I mean, I don't know where you got that from. It's not on the recipe. It is. It's right here. It's on my recipe that I printed out where it says right there, two quarts of water. It's probably backwards. One half, half a cup of baking soda. There you go. It's oh, evidence, folks. Let's, I mean, yeah, you printed it off. Mm. <laughs> I oh, can go back and see your how, head. How interesting. All right. So anyway, um, you uh, you add the eggs in, followed by the yeah. cornstarch mixture, uh, and you're just whisking constantly. And I, that's yeah. just temperature yeah. control still? 
Yeah, yeah. You just want to you just want to keep it moving so nothing settles and cooks too fast. Okay, okay. and so. then incorporation, obviously. Exactly. But that makes sense. Okay, and then remove from heat, whisk in the butter and vanilla. Yep. All right, and then here you kind of got interesting, and I wanted to ask you why you said individual serving dishes because anytime i've seen this dish it has been like a potluck situation where it's in one big platter and everybody just grabs the scoops and go yeah. here and again i guess alton brown said individual serving dishes no 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 the the pudding is not alton brown the pudding is one i um i made out of different the cookies is alton brown oh you frankenstein this got yeah, it yeah okay. um so that's just already forgetting to edit that's all that is no, okay. I didn't know if there was some particular to it. No, okay. I, I after I saw that, I updated the recipe to just be like to build it. So yeah, that was I just. I'm starting just to feel like I'm, I'm, I'm the I'm the quality control guy, and like once I go through it, oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I should do this, and then everybody else gets the like, you're welcome world. All listen, right, listen, <laughs> creativity and genius. It it it. It makes sometimes uh, there are typos with it. Sorry. Yeah. Chaos is real close to it. Is that what it is? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Chaos. Yeah. That's now that's... one thing I did find interesting <laughs> besides the individual serving dishes, because my idiot self, I actually put in about three dishes. Oh, sneeze. A chew. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. That will be edited out. Um, the plastic wrap, and you specifically said have it touching the top of the pudding yep and here you said to prevent a skin from forming mm -hmm. um I've, i don't think i've ever seen a skin on pudding well have you have you ever actually made real pudding no and that's why okay. i'm confused so like what what is that is it like the only thing i can think of is the fat in like uh aspic or or those kind of things what what is this so it's it's literally just a skin forms um when air touches it mm -hmm. just because it cools that first layer and it creates a very thin skin um it happens with any custard you make so that's why um you put that cellophane on the top of it touching mm -hmm. it so no air gets to it and that prevents it from forming a skin okay and right, like well it, then... it, make, it makes like this rubbery, like chewy skin because the air cools the first, that first. If that large happens, post. could you just mix it up? You can, but then then they're like little chunk. They stay in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, good to yeah. know. Good to know. All right. Well, then that's and then you you say either serve warm, which I could not imagine eating warm pudding. That just sounds really gross. No, yeah, that's really gross. That's, and yeah. or or chill several hours before serving. It's either yeah. like eat it now or wait overnight. Yeah, listen, <laughs> listen. This one was poorly edited by me, okay? We get it, Dan. I'm gonna get it. This. I'm gonna write it all the way. And then we get to the to the whipped cream. All right. Um, wait, what? You mean, you mean whipped cream? Yeah, I said. In a cold bowl, combine yeah. your heavy whipping cream and vanilla extract then whip yeah. on high until firm peaks form about one minute that's right no mention of sugar being added well you just throw it all the... i mean i did throw it in there because okay. that was the only instruction so it had to be now or never with that situation i mean dude <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be able to make some assumptions i, I had two quarts of water already <laughs> Yeah, and you made a perfect assumption not to add that in. <laughs> but when I look over next to my two <laughs> quarts of unused water, I see a small little like neglected bowl of sugar. You of, you, you um, know what that you know what the water is really for? Um, for? For you to hydrate. I want you to stay <laughs> yeah. hydrated while you cook. I need to drink two quarts of water <laughs> while I cook. Okay, got it. I'm gonna have a camel pack now. Next, I never. <laughs> Whenever I'm in there. All right, so you just throw the sugar in whenever. There's not really Yeah, a... you just throw it all in and mix it until okay. it gets pe peaky. And, and you said about one minute. I used an immersion blender, so it took me a little bit longer, but eventually got to that whipped yeah. cream yeah. consistency. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. And then when you layer it, you said start with the vanilla sugar cookies, then sliced bananas, Yep. and then a layer of whipped cream, then a layer of pudding, and then just mm -hmm. repeat until you're full. Yeah. Um, Ultimately, I will say that it was really good. Mm -hmm. Like overall, it was great. Mm -hmm. The whipped cream I felt could have been sweeter. 
but my wife loved it because she's she doesn't have as near as much of a sweet tooth as mm-hmm. I do. I was gonna say um, that's that's because you you got you got the you got those sugar teeth. Yeah, I'm I, I'm yeah I'm cavity driven, and the she loved it because in the morning she would take a little bit of her the whipped cream and put it in her coffee. She yeah. loved that. She said yeah. that was really good, whipped and it wasn't the sweet. Easiest thing to make. Yeah, it was. It's like it's, one sentence. Yeah, it's not hard to make, and okay. it's better. It's better for you than any of this stuff you can buy. And also, if you want it sweeter, you just add more sugar. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it. And that's what I assumed because yeah. I mean, but uh, I felt like the whipped cream could have been sweeter. Um, everything was good. I don't want you to think I, anything was bad. It's just my preference. I would have liked things to be taken up a notch on the sweet level, personally. And then the other thing that I had a little bit of confusion with was the pudding to the other layers ratio. I felt this specific dish yeah. did not yield enough pudding to kind of balance. Because I had a whole bowl full of whipped cream. Yeah, and then I filled up a small a small baking dish worth of, of um, pudding. Yeah, yeah. Um, if if I were to make this again with these um, amounts, I would do one of two things: double the pudding amount, yes. or half the whipped cream. Completely agree. Ex- across the board, yes. I would but, probably um, make more wafer cookies too. Yeah, yeah. But when you build it. It's supposed to be, there's supposed to be more whipped cream than there is pudding. Really? Yes. So not not by much, but there's supposed to be a little bit more whipped cream for each layer. Interesting. Is that just... For, it's, that, no. for aesthetics, really. Okay. That looks good. But um, yeah, I mean, double the pudding or half the whipped cream and then just put the same amount and you're good. And yeah, like you said, more cookies too. Um, yeah. Those cookies were good, man. I think they were my favorite part. Yeah, they're delicious. Like, and they're and they're not hard to make. No, it's, you just go to town on those things too, and they're mm-hmm. little. So you eat like ten, you're like, yeah, it's like one cookie. Yeah, it's like wheat thins. You can just eat a whole box. You're like, oh my yeah. god, what have I done? <laughs> <Right>? Yes, <laughs> uh, I'm so sad now. <laughs> Anyway, that was mine. It was great. Well received. Who doesn't like <clears throat> banana pudding? Unless you, I guess, you're allergic to it or something. But um, how was yours? Well, it was fantastic. <laughs> I was about to go make two more quarts of water. You you can make water. That's cool. I made bananas. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, I mean, so I did the cookies first. And I did the, um, instead of scooping them, I essentially made a log out of it. Like you would like a sugar cookie. Like, you know how you can buy the mm. sugar cookie like the Christmas cookie yeah, things. You just chop it down. So so I did that. I rolled that into a log, let it get nice and solid and chopped it in little little medallions. That, that's really smart. Did that affect the result of your cookies? They, they were like a little oblong, but I mean okay. that's fine. Uh and then did the pudding. Um when I did my pudding, now I'm not saying everyone do this. I've done this stuff I've made custards before, so I kinda know what to watch for. Um I mixed, I threw the eggs in with the milk and cooked it all together. Um, but what I did is I cooked it on low, like low, like low medium, like a, like a three setting. But mm-hmm. I constantly whisked that thing the whole time until it started steaming. So that because had to I take a while, it did. Um, so I did that. Um, don't do it. It takes too long. Just do the normal way. Don't, don't be me. Don't be the guy. I'm like, I'm going to be creative. I can do something cool. No, don't do it. (laughs) So don't do what you do. Be wary of the instructions. Got it. Okay, cool. And so just like a life lesson. (laughs) Okay. Don't trust your co-host. Got that. Do as I write, not as I do. Wait, that doesn't work either. And that's not. No, it doesn't. (laughs) Just drink your two quarts of water and put your baking soda in there and See, don't now, give me every, no lip. Every recipe is going to start off. First, you need to drink two quarts of water. Then you need uh, to powder yourself in half a cup of baking powder. <laughs> baking I'm, I'm, soda. I'm just going to start throwing two quarts of water in every recipe randomly. There's going to be so many red herrings in every recipe now. 
Uh, I have destroyed my, my future on this show. <laughs> Sorry, you were telling okay. me about okay. what you're doing. So, Pudding came out good. Did the did the surround wrap, no skin. It was good. Um, cookies were good. Did the whipped cream. You know, just threw everything in a bowl, mixed it till it got peaky. What I did do differently, which you do this because it helps. You can do this because it will help stabilize your whipped cream for longer. Throw um, like a fourth a cup or half a cup of powdered sugar in with it. Oh, that would sweeten it up too. So it, gets sweet, it sweetens it up, but also what it does is it gives it more structure. Because what will happen really? is over time is that um, it will kind of break down and become watery if you leave it in the fridge too long. Um, really? Like at like day one and a half, two, you'll start seeing that happening. I guess that but, makes sense. Yeah. But if you put the um, the powdered sugar in there, it gives it more structure. 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 So it lasts longer. Okay. So that's a little trick, a little, little tippy tip. Okay. Um, and then layered it all, and it was delicious. I mean, okay. yeah, it came out. And was it well received by the family? Yeah, yeah. It's a, they ate half of it like an hour ago. <laughs> did like, you get it? Did you get any? Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> I was the first one to get some. That this is this is one of my favorite desserts. So really? I was like, I was like, boom, boom, me first. You all suck, not me. I'm a winner. <laughs> yeah. And then I gave it to them. See, I uh, I actually was on a photo shoot, uh -huh. and uh, so I had the kids. So one one of the one of the the quietest moments in the house was when I uh -huh. gave him the batter whisk. <laughs> oh yeah. After I had gotten most of it off, that thing uh -huh. came back cleaner than any dishwasher. <laughs> It was, it was, I was, and he was super quiet because he was, that's the most focused that kid is ever, he, he got everything off that batter. He's like, it was, it was he's like funny. I'm not leaving anything here. <laughs> well, it's probably, it, he kind of took it like it was about to be a prison fight. He just kind of like held on to it and was like, no one, I could get this before it's taken away or something. <laughs> he's coming for it. I know he is. I got to get it real quick. He's stuffing it in his pockets in case he gets sent back to his cell. He's like <laughs> getting on his finger, like putting his <laughs> But uh, no, it was it was really good, and and I personally I would have made it sweeter, and I think that's yeah. more of a southern thing, really, to be honest. Yeah, I, I mean that. Yeah, I could see that. You think about like like sweet tea, that's a real southern thing. Yeah, and, and yeah. I've noticed doing these and and just kind of thinking back to what I've been you know immersed in my whole life, basically. Yeah. It thing it seems like dishes in the south are always more sweeter. Yeah, they have more sugar content to them, mm -hmm. especially desserts and yeah. and drinks. Yeah. So so what you're saying is. Southerners, you take your normal recipe and you triple the sugar. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. And next time I make this, I will at least, at least I'll do the powdered sugar trick in the frost in the whipped cream. That that actually sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. Do uh, do do like half a cup, and that'll. Um, and, go ahead. I'm sorry. That was it. That was my sentence. Oh, okay. <laughs> the the idea just popped in my head because I remembered uh, when I tasted the pudding by itself. Uh huh. Just just by itself, it almost tasted salty. Really? Yeah, it had it it I tasted the salt before I tasted the sugar. Like it was it was more oh. of a more of a in your face than the than the sugar was and then once the salt passed there was a sweetness to it. Which oh, I mean it wasn't bad, but mm -hmm. again, I'm equating this to the the jello recipe that you see yeah, in the box, yeah, the yeah. insta pudding. Yeah. And you know, that's prepared differently and it probably has a lot more sugar in it yeah. from the get-go. Yeah. Um so I may sweeten up the sugar in the, in the, I don't, I don't know, the whipped cream could counteract that mm -hmm. if it's sweet enough. And then the cookies are always, they always taste really good. So you, you're, um, you're going to sweeten up that sugar. I mean, yeah, I'll sweeten up the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> he's going he's to put some sugar on his sugar. I'm going to sugar up my sugar. But um, uh, yeah, yeah I mean, it's a good dish. You got salt? That's interesting. Well, I mean, there was some salt. I think, I think the pudding had the most amount of salt, if I'm not mistaken. It had, well, no, it had a teaspoon. Oh, so yeah, it's just a teaspoon. But it had, I mean, it was half a teaspoon in the in the cookies. So, I don't know. It just tasted saltier to me. No, that, it wasn't I mean, bad. That's that's fine. I mean, that that's just you taste it. That's your palate. It is what it is. I thought for just a second there that I thought it was just like really fancy pudding that my southern commoner brain didn't comprehend. I like, mean, it let's it is really a fancy pudding because it's made from scratch. So, that's true. I don't know. But um, it, it was good. Yeah, was add good. more sugar next time. Yeah, if I mean, if you want it to be sweeter. 
Make it sweeter. That's okay. Okay. Yep. You do you do you, boo. All right. So I need to figure out what to do with all the whipped cream that we have left over. So I have grapes in there and some strawberries, maybe. <laughs> So after this show, honey, no, just kidding. But, um, the, uh, yeah, the end, uh, the end I, result. And I'm the problem. <laughs> you just still, you didn't get as much whipped cream as I got. Well, I, I used it all on my thing. <laughs> you want to elaborate? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> cut that, cut that. Let's cut yeah, that we'll out. Cut, cut that, yeah, cut yeah, that we'll out. Cut that, that out. out. All right. So. <laughs> Use it in coffee, yeah. Coffee. I'll just... you, you don't drink coffee, but who uh, to all the normal humans out there? Um, <laughs> yeah, use it in coffee. It's delicious in coffee. It really is. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, dude. Fruit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like I was I was dipping grapes in it. And stuff. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Really good. And and it, I think it's better too because it's not as sweet. Mm-hmm. So I uh, ultimately I think. So you get like, that. You get that fruit forwardness and then that yes. that just kind of complements it yeah yeah because otherwise i would be having like a thousand teaspoons of whipped cream to one grape right <laughs> that wouldn't be that's not that's diabetes city yeah that's what exactly. That is. exactly that's you're you're 100 correct <laughs> on that one science um but yeah it was good it was good really good dish um i am now always nervous about ingredients being on future recipes with you but yes i don't I don't think the show would be as much fun if you didn't throw me these curveballs. Yeah. Whether I, intentional or not. Totally, totally intentional. 100%. 100%. So anything yeah. you would do differently? No, I think what you said is correct. I would I would double the uh, volume of pudding and cookies. That's what I would do. Because, um, okay. I mean, I'd like whipped cream. I mean, I am body by whipped cream. So I liked a lot of it, but I wanted more pudding. I felt yeah. like it. I felt like it was lacking. I felt like I wanted like double the amount, and then it would have been perfect. But and more. Co- I mean, always more cookies. Curious, how many bananas did you slice up for this? Seven or eight? Are you serious? Yeah, dude. I did three. No wonder yours wasn't as sweet as it should have been. Maybe you're, maybe you're that's supposed why. to. You're supposed to layer those bananas on. Like okay. it's it's supposed to be a layer of cookies. And then the banana layer, and you can't see past the bananas. Okay. And then a layer. It's like, you, you got to layer that banana, dude. All right. It Good should be know. all over. So mine was uh, was whipped wafer pudding with a hint of banana. <laughs> right. <laughs> a la banana. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Good to know. Good that to know. Make, that actually makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, that, that does too. That yeah. Does too. Yeah, next time, yeah, just... Slather the banana on there. Go bananas. Oh, <laughs> we're out. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. I guess uh, we've talked a long time. Is there anything you want to throw on before we get into the, the ending? No, sequences? no, I'm good. It was delicious. It was fun. It's good to hear your voice. It's been a minute, buddy. It has been. It's been a, it's been a long time. It's been traveling and stuff, but everything's calmed back down. Time to get back in the groove. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, missed, missed, um, missed that handsome face. Well, I, I did shave for you. Yeah. Oh, I can tell. Yeah. I yeah. can tell. <laughs> Will you tell these people before we get inappropriate? Will you tell these people where they can find us uh, on the <laughs> interweb? I sure can. So you can find us everywhere you listen to podcasts um, for the audio version. Uh, the video version, you can find that on YouTube, Hot and Hotter. Um, the recipe, and also you can get the podcast through our website, hotandhotter.com. And then we're hot and hotter in all the social medias. And I do have to apologize that there hasn't been a lot of um, like short form social media content just because it's been so crazy for the past like couple weeks. But that's going to pick back up too, y'all. So you'll be getting yeah, more of been, that uh, good you've stuff. You've been life changing career stuff going on. So that's, that's yeah. obviously you're no good to us if you're not like alive. So please. yeah, yeah, that would be bad. That would be bad. That would be bad. Um, Yes, and we did uh, the last episode according to the the rank that we've gone these the order we've gone these in was uh, was our first community uh, recipe and that that went really well and yes, again we want to just if you reach out to us in any of the socials that he mentioned and uh, if you're interested in the show if you got feedback if you want to throw in a recipe to try please yeah. do 
and uh, we would love to, to throw it in the ranks. We've got lots and lots of ideas and lots and lots of recipes that we want to do, and there's always room for more. That's the cool thing about food. Everybody's got a got an opinion. Everybody needs to eat it, and everybody's got a, got their own taste, and we'd like to give it a go. Exactly. So send them in. Please. That's all I got, bud. All right. Well, as always, keep cooking, y'all. Yeah. Bye. Bye.